ASMR for literally years before I was really well known, before I was socially acceptable and I was really embarrassed about it. I didn't tell anyone, I didn't like talk about it to anyone, but it helped me so much through so many difficult times and I love it so much that I just decided I wanted to try creating it and I've fallen in love with creating it. I find it so relaxing to do and I just love it. So also asked, what is your personal favourite ASMR genre? I guess for me, my personal favourite types of ASMR videos that I like to watch are hauls, unboxings, unboxings, grocery hauls. Um, I also like slow tapping and scratching. I love to watch Stirs. I'm not massively into watching role play videos other than maybe some spa type role plays, but I don't tend to watch a lot of role plays. Three, what is your future plan in this field? I don't really have a plan, I'm just going to keep uploading videos for as long as people would like to watch them. <laughs> Number four, if you have no problem in disclosing what do you do as a profession outside of ASMR, that's something that I will probably keep to myself for now if you don't Slay Interrupted says, what do you enjoy more, whispered ASMR or soft spoken? I would say I definitely prefer whispered ASMR, but there are a few ASMR artists whose soft spoken voices I really like, including Petite Stacy ASMR. Um, I can't think of any others off the top of my head, but it really just depends on the person who's making but generally I prefer whispered. And PL says, if you had to choose, what are your top three beauty products that you cannot live without? Okay, so definitely number one would be my Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. The best mascara I have ever used. I could never live without Number two would be some sort of eyebrow pencil because my eyebrows are super blonde. Super blonde and you really cannot see them so I like to fill them in. And number three would be highlighter of any kind. I love to glow and I couldn't live without my highlighter. Amy one Equestrian said made you want to start making ASMR and who are some of your favorite creators as well as triggers? So I think I've answered the a similar question about why I started and my favorite creators. Favorite triggers for me are definitely close whispers. Super, super close whispers. Scratching. them. <laughs> 